Hello, my name is Clay. I was the lead programmer for VultureDB, and in this video, I'm going to be giving a little demo and showing off some features of our senior project, which is, again, VultureDB. So I'll start off by going to the overview info page. So in short, VultureDB is a hassle-free, low-cost, easy-to-use inventory management product and service for teachers that will save time and efficiency compared to all its competitors. And then it's also um, very secure compared to its competitors and it'll allow administrators full control over all their inventory needs. Um, one of the main features of our of VultureDB is the room visualization, room visualization feature. So unlike its competitors, we offer a service that will allow teachers to easily split up the room into sections and then have each section um, be easily identifiable by a map right here and then each little area within that section has a little alphanumeric identifier and that's going to really be used to um, help users know exactly where items are um, if they use the map. In fact, the map feature has been proven to increase efficiency when retrieving the items. In addition, we also have an effective search tool for all items in the inventory. So you can search for parts by keyword, item category, item ID, and location. And beyond that, we have some powerful administrator tools like adding items um, through the website, editing items through the website, and removing items through the website, all in the control animal. And it avoids the need to use SQL to um, inter inter interface with the data. And that really just makes it so much easier for teachers um, who need these powerful tools but don't really have the time to go learn SQL. Um, it's built, uh, VultureDB is built on Amazon Web Services, so we're running an EC2 uh, Elastic Cloud Compute instance, and then this is all connected to our database, which is a, a MySQL engine database that's hosted in the relational database system. Um, the website's going to be the website's built primarily on HTML5, CSS3, uh, JavaScript, PHP, and then um, we're using Apache Web Server to host. Yeah, you can contact us this phone number right here as well as support.vulturedb at gmail.com. Um, here's the little instructions tab that we have. So if you ever have any questions while you're using the website or if you're a new user, feel free to reference the instructions tab. I'm going to skip over and just show you guys what's going on. So this is the home page once again. Um, from here you have the navigation bar up top, which has most of the main features, as well as the map search tool. So let's say I'm looking for all the items within the red zone. The red zone is the middle of the room. I can click on the red zone, press OK, and it's going to display every single item that we have marked down in the being in the red zone. All the items. Okay, well, that's cool and all, but let's say I want to search by, let's say I'm searching for like all the, um, the different kinds of wiring that are in Mr. Mullen's room. Well, I can come up here into the navigation bar to the search by category feature, come down to wiring, click search, and it's gonna, it's gonna search all the, the whole room for different kinds of wiring. And that, that doesn't just mean it's gonna search for wiring um, the name, it'll search for everything that has an item ID um, that matches the wiring item ID. So basically, all the item IDs that start with eight correspond to different kinds of wiring that are um, within this room. So it's basically just gonna query the database for all the item IDs that start with eight because that's the wiring item ID. Um, if you want electronics item ID, that's gonna be the one ID. Uh, VEX and CONNECTS, it's going to be the zero. This is the it's the first digit of the item ID that it's searching for. Um, moving on from that, so let's say I'm looking for, let's say I'm looking for like a screwdriver, right? But if I click on hardware, all these different kinds. Let's say I want for something else. So I can come in here, type in screwdriver, and it's going to pop up with all the different kinds of screwdrivers. So what this, this search tool is doing is, um, it's searching by keyword. So it's going to look for all the items that have screwdriver in their name. And then it displays the item ID, item name, the quantity of it, and location. So those are the three main search tools that are going to be used for students um, when they're used by students when they're looking for different items. Um, in addition, if let's say, let's go back to that. 
Mr. Driver. And let's say they see the location, Red J1. Well, where, where is Red J1? So what they can do is um, open up this map here in a new tab. And it'll pop up with a, with a map of the room that we saw right here. So from here, they can look, OK, well, Red J1. So that's going to be in the front of the room, uh, in the middle. So like facing the front, in the middle here, Red J. So they can come over to wherever they're sitting and then come access the Red J cabinet where their item is being stored. All right, so moving on from that, um, let's say I'm a teacher and I need to add a test item to the database. So what you can do is you come to the teacher login feature here, um, and then you can log in using a given username and password. So right now we're just gonna use uh, the default. Shoot. Well, now we know it's uh, secure, <laughs> so we can come in here. There we go. All right, so once you enter the correct username and password, um, what it'll do is create a little session ID for you and then you'll stay logged in um, as long as you don't close up the tab. So on this page, you can edit, add, and remove all items. And this is only accessible by teachers, for teachers, by the way. Um, so let's say I'd like to add like a new item. So let's, let's just do a test item. So here, let's make the item ID uh, 000, zero, 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 nine, 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 test, um, test, item, test, quantity one, and let's put it in the blue zone, blue A1. Uh, we can come in here, click insert, and then it's gonna pop, it'll pop up with what we did. Press okay, it'll uh, add it to the database. And then we can come back here. I think we put it in blue, so we can search for the blue zone. And there we go. Our item was added. So, hold up. Resend that, the query. So let's go ahead and take this item ID and we can edit. We can edit. Um, this property so insert the item ID to edit submit um, let's say we don't want to change the name so we'll just copy the name over but we want to add two of them so now we'll have three so let's change the item quantity three and then we can move it over to the yellow zone so yellow a4 um, then we can insert and it should update there we go so now we can come over here and here you go. It's been moved over to yellow A4, and if we go back to blue, it's no longer there. Um, so that's, and then this, this, this button here will be able to remove items. So that's a little rundown, a quick little rundown of uh, VultureDB, what it's capable of. As you can see, it offers a lot of advantages compared to maybe some conventional spreadsheets, thanks to its powerful visualization tools, as well as innovative search features. It's also important to note that we aim for this to be a low cost solution to, for teachers, and we hope to see it, a, see it implemented across Wake County Public Schools in the near future. Um, thank you for listening, thank you for watching, and I hope you guys really enjoyed our demo.